everyone, it's Sophia, and today's video is a what's on my iPhone 6. I know you're probably wondering what kind of quality this is, and yeah, I'm not, this is not the device I use to film the what's on my iPhone 6. I actually use my camera to film that, but this is a horrible intro because I totally forgot to actually film the intro when I was actually filming the what's on my iPhone 6 video. When I was actually filming that video, I wasn't too happy. I was really mad. Okay. So when I was filming that video, I actually was really tired and I was grumpy. I had to wake up really early that day to actually drive seven hours to Missouri, which I am here now. And that's why in that video, um, I'm kind of, you know, down and not very joyful and bubbly or whatever. So, you know, I just wanted to warn you. Anyway, let's just hop right into the video and I hope you guys enjoy it. This is my lock screen and it's just flowers, I guess. So, yeah, let's just log in now. Okay, so this is basically the default page that every iPhone has. Um, I'm not going to go through each and every one because you probably already know. If you don't, it doesn't, it's not really important. But the bottom, I have my most used ones, and Spotify is in there because I use Spotify every day, basically. Um, I use these every day, and I have Pinterest, Vine, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Ask FM. Again, if you want to follow me on my social media or my Snapchat or whatever, I'll have everything linked down below so you can just click it and it's really easy for you just to, you know, um, follow me on those social media sites. Next one I have Feature Points and Swag Bucks. And this is definitely my most interesting kind of folder I have because these are the things that I use a lot and they're actually really entertaining. Okay, so basically with Feature Points, you earn rewards for downloading apps and the apps are free, so... They don't cost anything. This is um, my history of apps that I've downloaded and it's actually quite a few because I've had this app for a year now I think and I can't stop using it because I get free stuff. So if you want to get 50 points for free you can use this referral link that I'll have linked down below once again um, and you just type, click that link and then type in the code that I have right in front of you. You can screenshot it or do whatever you want, it really doesn't matter. You can just do that and then it will direct you to the Future Points um, website, and then you just type in that referral code that I have on the screen right now, and then that will give you automatically 50 points for free. And that's actually a pretty good deal because you start off with nothing, so it's a good start to your Future Points account kind of thing. So then I just have Apple Watch in my next slide, and then Swagbox. Um, Swagbox is actually really, really awesome. But here's Swagbox. Um, that's my profile picture. Um, I don't know how to change that. Like, I think I'll try to change it now. I don't know how to change that. So I'm just going to have to live with it, I guess. If you know how to change this profile picture, could you please comment down below because just take a look at that. I don't like it at all. Anyway, I'll just get into how to use it, I guess. So, Sidebox is the same thing as Feature Points, I guess. Um, you can actually watch videos instead rather than um, downloading apps. You watch videos, there are a bunch of actually really interesting ones. You, they offer a bunch of rewards. Actually, they have Amazon, Old Navy, and Starbucks, and all this different stuff. Then you can actually buy stuff online and then get swag bucks. Hold on, I just allow that, I guess. But there's daily polls that you can answer, and this one, I don't know, I'm just gonna say yes because I, yeah, I just earned one swag buck. Yay. That guy is scaring me. So, so that's five bucks. And then in my next folder, I have just a bunch of random stuff and Skype so that I can reach out to people who reach out to me and through Skype and take videos. Then I have my next folder, which is my how I edit my Instagram photos portion of this kind of video. Um, I'll just kind of incorporate it to the what's on my iPhone 6, I guess. And the first one is Visco Cam. And this cam is actually my lifesaver, and I love it so much. Whatever you call it, as my demo kind of thing. So, I'm just going to use this. And this cam offers many different editings, and I like to use T1 because that gives, like, a soft, white tone background to your picture. So, that's basically this cam. Then I have Scare Ready. Square Ready, not Scare Ready. You open any photo you want, and then you, you know, you see that rose and stuff. You place it wherever you want on the 
app and then you can just get the white background on the thing. You can make it smaller, you can make it larger, just basically do whatever you want, place it where you want, and then save it as this or whatever you want to save it as. And then here I have my smart person folder. Um, it's not like a major or anything, so I don't really you know, use those, whatever. Just kidding, yeah, I do. But I have Elevate and Math because I like to keep up with my brain over summer. Um, hashtag Asian problems. Okay, moving on now. Next to it, I have something called Forest. And this helps me with my homework. Again, another, if you want to keep up with your homework kind of app, I guess. Um, I use, it's pretty simple to use. You set a timer and if it basically just keeps track of you and, and make sure that you don't get off track. Because if you plant your tree and then, you know, watch to get off this app, it gives you a reminder and it says, go back to forest immediately to prevent the tree from dying. So then you can't go on your social media for too long because then the tree will die. I'll give you an example of what it looks like. So here, if I press press, give up, then I just select yes. Then the poor tree dies because you were distracted for too long and you killed the tree. So it's kind of sad. So it's basically a concentrating kind of app. Starbucks, yeah. So then I have YouTube Studio. Sorry, I keep clicking that. Um, YouTube Studio, which helps me keep um, track of my statistics on my YouTube viewer kind of thing. Then I have Chase, and this is um, for my bank account so I can keep track of my money and stuff. Then I have Fitbit, and I use Fitbit because I have my own Fitbit that I'm not wearing right now. But I just keep track of my weight, um, how much I'm eating and stuff, and the number of steps I take if you don't know what a Fitbit is. And then I have Etsy because I recently just opened up my own Etsy shop. I actually opened up last year, but I haven't really posted anything until today, or yesterday, I mean. Um, and my Etsy shop will be linked down below as well. Then I have Sell on Etsy, which is just another way I can talk to people who want to buy my clothing that I sell. And then Netflix, which is an essential because who doesn't have Netflix? I mean, if you don't, whatever. Then I have Relax, and this is just an app where you can make a bunch of different sounds. Like, you can add, you can click on a river, and then that will... Um, incorporate the sound of a river and then you can take the sound of an ocean and sorry if I keep looking up it's kind of annoying I know but you can incorporate the sound of an ocean and then just make these really cool lullabies that um, help you fall asleep easier because that's what I use them for and then you can set a timer on it for how long you want it just in case it doesn't kill your battery overnight so you can set a timer but I just like using relax because it just makes a bunch of different sounds. So oh, that was the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And make sure to comment down below what you think about me making my updated room tour since I recently just completed my room. Not this room. This is. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention in the beginning. But this is actually at my dad's house because my parents are divorced. So I have two different rooms. Um, This room was finished a long time ago. But um, yeah, that's why the backgrounds are different if you're wondering. Um, yeah, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!